Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and yes, the the Thanksgiving event is over, the Christmas event will be a couple more weeks at least, and while I was going through that, I thought about going to Amazon to continue the monster mission with Piranha, but I saw this little mission that popped up, and I thought this would be just kind of fun, do something a little light for a change. This is called the... Black Crappie jig, Tube Jig Bait Mission. It's apparently brand new because it popped up. I never saw it before. I thought, I thought, well, why not? Let's go ahead and complete it. It's basically something that people who first start out can do. All you need is some kind of a light rod. You have to set up basically a small jig bait with a tube and I think a number one jig head. So, well, let me go ahead and see what we've got here. I'll show you in, in my inventory here. Yeah, on this one I happen to have an uh, extra light rod here called the Feather Light. I'm keeping it as light as possible, which is good for this type of fish. I've got my Prima 3000, that's an 8.8 .8 pound, which is 9 pound for the Feather Light. For the line, we've got 8 pound floral line that's see through, so the fish won't be able to see it. As is the fluorocarbon leader, just a little bit less, that's 8 pound, 7.9. Here's the jig head, 116, actually it's 16 ounce. Number one, that's important. That's a requirement. You have to have a number one jig head. They have two, I think, a, uh, one fourth ounce and a one six ounce. We're going with the one six. Now this is a little different. I've got a firework tube. You don't have to necessarily use that. I've got several others here that can be used. We've got a salt and pepper. We've got a pumpkin seed. I think the pumpkin seed was supposed to work really well too. So I'm going to keep that one as a possibility if this one doesn't do well. But this is from the uh, Independence event back in July 4th. So. It might have a little bit more of an attractant about it it's because it's an event lure, so I'm hoping that's the case. But this is all we really need for this event, for this little mission. As you can see, it's already pointed out the spots that I need to go to. I believe we need to start at Rocky Lake. Make sure of that. Nope, Emerald Lake. So we need to go to Emerald Lake first. We need to catch a trophy one, I believe, for all of these. Shouldn't have to go too far, and I think we're on a rainy day, so the peaks are not very high here, but it's pretty steady all day long as far as the fishing goes. Let's create a club room. Yep, nice rainy day. Here's the old corn, but we won't have that available till next year if we can even take part in it in any way. But... I'm going to come over here for the crappie because I think we'll have more luck off the dock. But most of the time I get the crappie right along in here near these lily pads. Sometimes over here but most often along here. I've gotten plenty of trophies there so we'll see what we can do here with this. I'm going to do a stop and go. Alright, I think we got something here, guys. There's our first black crappie. I did have to fast forward time. 
just was not getting any bites during a rainy day. <laughs> this day has some big peaks in the morning and in the evening, and as soon as I did that, they started biting. So, that is kind of important. Now we just need to get a trophy one. Now there isn't a whole lot of room that we can fish right here, but they should. If they don't bite right away, they probably won't. All right, we got something this time. Let's see what we got here. Ah, well, we're getting him. Let me go ahead and mark that just to make sure we know. Yep, right there. I've been getting him here, over here, right over here. I think it's just a matter of timing. see what we got here. We got us yet another black crappie. Not big enough. That one is caught right here. So, both those spots have been producing. Should be at the top of the peak at this point. So, we should have more luck now. Yeah, that's another one I think, and there he is. All right, well I did it at one notch. I was using the the pumpkin green tube. He just bent barely over one pound. So that is the first one, and right over here. We were at the very top of a peak here, so peaks are important for these because they are sunfish. They do prefer the peak periods. Yeah, the rainy day was just not good. Not very good. Alright, so now we need to go on to the next place, which I believe is Naharan. Oh, Rocky Lake. We go to Rocky Lake next. Now, Rocky Lake, I've caught them pretty much all over the place, but it seems like on this side, I tend to catch them more often, as opposed to trout galore. And if you're going to go for them, I'll show you where you need to go. It seems like more and most often, I'm going to catch them next to these little reeds or whatever. That's not always true for the bluegill, but these guys usually right here. There's other things here too, so nope, <laughs> we got it right off the bat. Let's see how easy that one was. Took us a little time for the other one, but that one was more than made up for the time it took for the other. And that's it. We gotta go to the next one. <laughs> it wasn't even that big of a peak. Alright. So let's leave. We need to go to Naharan. Now, for Naharan, there's a number of places that the black crappie are found, but I think I find them most often at Woody Enchantment.
Now, it's really your preference, but most often I find them right in this area. Now, over here, you're more likely to get the white crappie. But you need to let it go down to the bottom. Usually these guys, it doesn't take long to get one, normally. Yeah, we got this white crappie. <laughs> Not quite what we're after, but... Let me see if we're in a peak. Yeah, we're right in a peak, so this is a good time for him. What have we got marked out there, by the way? Might as well take a look. Unique black crappie. And rowdy bass. Well... At least we know we're in the right vicinity. Well, they're pretty active here today. I would give them that. I think this time I'm going to let it drop all the way to the bottom and then do the tree that way. Continue stop and go. There we go. Now we can get bass too, so. Nope, that's him. And it's a unique black crappie, guys. <laughs> How's that? That makes the day, doesn't it? Great way to end this. There's our final entry for that mission. A unique black crappie. Couldn't ask for better. Get a nice picture of that if I can. There it goes. It took a little while. Yeah, we only had to get one pound or better, so that's not bad. There it is. Mission accomplished. Black crappie tube jig bait. Wonderful catch. Good work. Take these rewards. We got a trophy grade 0 0.011 and a trophy casting spoon, three quarter ounce. So this is something that we can definitely use later on. It's one of the reasons I took part in this. I don't care as much for the well, the cash and the bay coins are good too, <laughs> but the XP is always good. But there you go, guys. Now, like I said, that's one you can take on early. So you can be low level and do this mission without any problem. Now it looks like they're taking me to another one here. So apparently there's all kinds of these mastering ones they're wanting me to finish up. So... Looks like they want us to equip casting spoon 1, 3. And looks like we've already caught all the rest of them. Grass pickerel, chain pickerel, redfin pickerel. That's a tough one, and the heron. So we might do that in the next episode, if we don't decide to go to the Amazon. But, yeah, I might even use that spoon I just won. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that episode. I, like I said, I wanted to keep it light and fun this time. Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.